Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, guess what? More sanding. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to go over a few of the details today on, on uh, what I'm discovering while I'm sanding things. Um, and uh, I want to show you uh, one of the parts that we've actually finished. Uh, we've put the 2K clear on it. Oh, it looks great. Um, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty beautiful. Um, so we're working on the rear, moving up to the front. Um, I've got the driver quarter here that you've seen before where we were putting a few layers of epoxy on it. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, some of the challenges uh, that we face. So stay tuned. Now, one of the things is you can see we're starting to flat, flat this off. Um, and then let's see if I can find... So you can kind of see it. It's it's hard to see, but um, it's there. Uh, we've burned into the carbon fiber a little bit. I just kind of wiped it away. Um, but that's okay because the carbon fiber actually gets saturated in the epoxy. So so you can see it actually here. Okay, so if you can see this pattern, and then as I wipe it away, you'll see it goes bye-bye. Okay, but it's there. And so we have to be cognizant of that as we're sanding it down. So don't take it down too far. Um, you don't want to completely burn through or else it'll show in your final finish. Um, <clears throat> this is where uh, we have a long way to go uh, to sand. So when you have this kind of rough surface here, that's what you're looking to get down to about this consistency. So you're going to have a few voids. We'll go back over those, um, the shiny spots. Uh, with our with our scotch bright pad <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're just going to rough those up now currently I'm using 80 grit on my DA and um, the 80 grit will then go to 220 grit and then we can go ahead and recoat uh, hopefully which will be the final coat on this. Um, and the reason for doing that is we get rid of the bigger scratches from the 80, which will actually cause a little bit of fogging in the surface. So make sure that uh, you take it down to 220. Remember you've got some burn through spots. Um, if you do, uh, be light on the 220, just get the sand marks out that will take out uh, you from getting a kind of a foggy finish on the, on the part. Okay, so now I've gone over this. You can see how we've flattered it off quite significantly. Um, there's the burn through I'm talking about, right there. Okay, so once you start seeing those little features, it's time to stop sanding that area. And also, let the machine do the work. Um, pressing down on it is just going to make uh, low spots and you're going to end up with uh, problems and really deep burn through which may go through the multiple layers of carbon fiber. So we press on. Okay so um, we're down in the basement we've got this guy uh, nicely flatted off. Uh, we're going to put another layer of epoxy on it. Um, my cameraman Xander uh, has this fancy new gimbal so he's going to be doing the filming while I show you guys how we uh, get this covered in epoxy. Um, so here we go. So uh, we're going to need a couple of tools. Um, I'm using some denatured alcohol um, and a, some paper towels and I'm wearing gloves. Um, I see guys who are really uh, anal on paint. Um, when they're doing paints and they use their hand without gloves on on the surface which just puts oils and stuff down. So I'm using gloves. Um, so let's get started. Now the idea here is just to wipe any greases or oils that have migrated onto the part during all of this process. 
because I wasn't wearing gloves when I was sanding. Uh, this is going to get all of the grease and oils off and it's also going to pull out uh, the sanding bits that are still on the surface. Just need to do a good job of making sure I get all of it. Make sure you get your edges, especially because you want some epoxy to get on your edges. That way when you go to sand, you can sand them nice and flat and straight and square. We're going to go back to our thick epoxy resin. We've got our medium cure hardener. We have paint cups. I like to use these because they don't distort under uh, the heat of the epoxy when it finally goes off. Um, they're also resistant to the chemicals of the epoxy. And then lots and lots of foam brushes, and I'll show you why that's necessary. And then we also need our handy dandy heat gun. Now, some people say a hair dryer will work, but I prefer a professional heat gun just because it um, generates a lot more localized heat and will get the bubbles out of the epoxy. So, let's get started. Okay, so for this, what I've noticed on the heavier coats, we've used about 300 grams of epoxy resin, um, and that requires uh, another 100 grams of hardener. Uh, we measure by weight, so we use our little uh, kitchen scale here. I'm going to turn it on. It will tear out, and give me zeros, and then we'll do our epoxy. Now it's important to do this, I'm doing this in my basement. Epoxy doesn't give off a whole lot of uh, vapors, and the other reason is, is because it's a suitable temperature down here for doing um, epoxies. If you do it out in the cold, um, it can uh, mess up the chemical reaction and you might not get the finish that you're looking for. So we're going to go 300 grams and try to get it as close as we can. So there we go, 300 grams. Now I always don't, I don't always make 300 grams perfectly, so don't worry about it. You can have a little bit of fudge factor. And then we're going to put in 100 grams. Bring it up to 400. There we go. And as you can see, I went over just a hair, but it's not going to be a disaster. And one of the other things I like to use are these paint sticks. And then you're going to stir this up. Now, you're going to put air into the epoxy. There's going to get bubbles and whatnot in there. But fear not, the point of this is to get the epoxy mixed properly. So you want to Spend about a minute or so uh, mixing the epoxy. Now that we've got our epoxy mixed, um, it's a nice uniform color. What we're going to do here is, now I'm not going to use my foam brush quite yet, okay? I'm going to put that on the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle some of this on. Okay? And then we're going to use the stick to kind of lay out a thin coat. And this, since this is kind of the last, hopefully the last coat, I don't want to be less sloppy than I am on other coats. So you just want to lay it, lay it out nice and thin, drizzle it on. And since you have a relatively smooth surface now, it's a little bit easier to lay on nice and thin. Now, obviously, um, we're going to want to fill some of the voids that we've had. So we don't want it with a thin. For those of you Monty Python fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, we do want to fill in those voids. And what I want to do is I want to just cover the part with a good layer of epoxy, spreading it on. 
with my stick. Okay, now that we have everything wet, wetted down, um, we're going to take our handy dandy heat gun. I'm going to start at a good location here. Now, don't melt this stuff. So you don't want, you just want to soften the epoxy a little bit. So it'll be a little more fluid when you are brushing it on. Because it's pretty thick stuff. And not only that, after you're done brushing, you want to hit it with the uh, heat gun to get the bubbles off. And you want to get any places that were not wet to begin with. Now if you get a run or two, don't worry, we're going to sand this once again. And we're going to sand it before we put the 2K on it. So now, the goal here is to try to make this as near of a finish as possible. So just lightly run the brush across it to take out the kind of warbles and bumps and dry spots. I don't know if my cameraman can let you see the... Remember, runs are okay. But we're just going to smooth it out. Follow it up, take the bubbles out. Now you don't have to take the, all the bubbles out while you're doing this. The idea is to make sure you don't have any dry spots. So a light touch. It's also a good time to get your edges. Okay, so now we're all coated. Um, there's going to be a few runs. Um, that's not a big deal. We're going to sand those out. But uh, as you can see, it looks going to be pretty good. You can see some of the distortions in the uh, carbon fiber. really don't care about that. I think that that adds to the character of it. But um, this is, panel is going to look pretty nice. Now, let's talk about what they will actually look like. I'll go over here, where I'm storing my finished parts. And this right here is the finished rear deck. And as you can see, it's got a pretty good finish on it. I haven't even uh, thought about buffing it yet, and it's already just amazingly reflective. So, also the finish is just looking as tough as nails. So it's, uh, it feels like an automotive finish. And to imagine that this actually came from a spray can. Yes, in DDD, it came from a spray can. So I'll show you what, uh, actually I'll put a, a link in the description uh, on the uh, spray can that I used for the 2K. Uh, worked out really, really well, so. Okay, well, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, we're on to our next part <laughs> more sanding rinse and repeat um, so I don't know if I'm going to be uh, doing big updates for a little while because we're just going to be doing panels um, I will try to upload some things that are interesting so that uh, we can keep uh, you guys uh, <laughs> watching the channel um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, I've been watching uh, Chris over at B is for Build and the team there. I want to give them a big thumbs up and uh, in getting their engine started and uh, broke it in. That was pretty.
pretty cool. Uh, we're watching their project uh, in very intently, and we give them all the best. Uh, we're sending as much karma to them as we possibly can for their run to SEMA. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, also, I wanted to throw a shout out to uh, Eurospares. They're a company that I've used for the actual Lamborghini parts. We've gotten some parts that are from actual Lamborghinis that we're putting into the car, um, and you've seen some of those. So I hope you guys are still enjoying the videos. We're uh, maybe doing some more detailed videos on the process. We still have to do the uh, scoop redo, so I've been doing these panels instead of um, making progress on uh, showing you the encapsulation process in a lot more detail. But we'll be doing that. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you already haven't, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.